Sorry, this is going to be a somewhat quieter video than I usually do. Unfortunately, the, the wife's asleep and I don't really want to wake her up. But I did want to have a brief conversation about this. Please forgive the Samaj-based fan art. I realize for some reason my raccoon has giant boobs, but we're not going to argue about it. Because uh, I, just, I just don't want to get into it. But we'll go ahead and make it bigger for everybody who is enjoying the comedy of it. It's not a pot shot towards anybody. It's just entertaining to me that they felt that this was a necessary thing to do. Thank you to Satan and Satire for actually helping me create such a horrible thing. And by helping, I mean it's all his fault. Blame him. He's a terrible person. Anyway. So, on Twitter, thanks to, I believe it was Cher? Uh, let me actually see exactly what I was looking at here, because I don't exactly approve of it. But some dude was threatening to dox Chrissyosity. You know, I don't particularly have a whole lot of conversations with her. I've, I've seen her briefly, and I've had like about a half of a minute conversation with her back in, I think it was... Oh, it, 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 Red Robot had asked me to ask around and see if I could find anything about, uh, <clears throat> like, help for men with cancer, and honestly, I didn't know a whole lot religious-wise, so I just asked Chrissyosity, because she's in that particular area. But lately, she did herself back on June 4th, just for context, so yes, I'm late to this, I don't care. But she did a video about why people are upset with Lacey, and I can understand the points she's trying to make here, but there are a couple of things I wanted to put some contention with. One of the things that I actually have a pretty big issue with was yes, there are a lot of YouTubers who make a whole lot of shitty, shitty comments for entertainment value or whatever, but it doesn't necessarily mean that we have a hate or we're trying to bully these people. A lot of the things that I say on my channel are purely for comedy. And yes, whether you like it or not, people are going to laugh at the stupidest shit imaginable. And Riley is not exactly the most trustworthy person. And Francesca most certainly is not. And the way she comes off quite a few times does come off as dare I say it, racist, if not just prejudice. And to be perfectly honest, yes. I don't particularly like the concept myself of having to go off on somebody, but a couple of her videos myself have made me completely and utterly irritated so far as which as I have flipped my shit about them. <sighs> but I can understand that Riley and Francesca are people themselves, and I would not want to attack them with anything honestly. As for Wooly Bumblebee, I would honestly like to say I believe her, but from the sudden flips she does, I find it difficult to believe her. And once she has some sort of evidence, I would be more than willing believe everything she says. No, I'm not an investigator either, but I do have a very basic understanding of behavioral analysis, which is why I could tell she was at the very least being dishonest about some of the details. What the details those were, I can't honestly say. I didn't exactly talk to this person. However, I think what Jeff Holliday was said was worse than any of it. That people would want to talk to Lacey just because she has a big channel. Me particularly, that's not why I would want to talk to Lacey. It's not why I want to talk to big people. Hell, it's not even why I would love to have you on Chrissyosity. Because, let's face it, I would. I would love to have an actual conversation with you like I do with everybody. And yes, you may consider this an invitation. At Minister Orange, I'm still on Twitter. We have talked before, and if you're more than willing to come on, I'm more than willing to have a discussion with you. To be perfectly honest, I'd actually like to have you and Ranting and a couple of other people from the anti-feminist side just to shoot the shit. Talk like regular freaking adults, because why the hell not? Maybe we'd be able to get past some of the, the preconceived notions that we have. I mean, 
when I did the stream with ranting. It was very interesting to sit there and actually be able to talk to the other side. And I actually had the ability to question some of the things that I had been led to believe from the side that I'm on. There are misconceptions on both sides. Which is one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of Steve Shives. He doesn't seem to want to have the discussions that can lead to the end of these misconceptions. Now, I understand that you're skeptical of the side, which you should be. Let's be honest, a lot of the people on our side, just like a lot of the people on your side, don't want to have a conversation. You just want to start shit. But much like you, and you have said in the past, I'm one of those people that wants to have discussion. So if you'd like to, feel free to contact me. I am at Minister Orange on Twitter. Please, I would love it. It would be very interesting. That said, I may be busy for the month of June because of the June challenge. Hashtag June challenge, durka durka durka, all that bullshit. Yeah, it's still going on. But if you would like to stream and you would like to clear other potential guests, please feel free. I would love it if you set it up. I would love to set it up myself. But frankly, a lot of the things, like a lot of the people that I deal with on freaking the internet, I, I don't believe you actually want to have this discussion. I don't believe anybody actually wants to have these discussions. Because if you did, we would be having them. And, frankly, we aren't. We're not having these discussions. Nobody is. So, as a brief little advertisement, please feel free, everybody, if you get a chance, to take a look at me or Futter Nutty's channel. Uh, Futter Nutty and myself do something called Streams Across Borders, and that's actually what we are here to do. We're here to have conversations with people who would not otherwise have conversations. I'd like to talk to you. I'd like to talk to anybody who's willing to talk. And if you have a preconceived notion that I need to challenge, I'd love to hear about it. And if I have some that I'd like you to hear about, I'd like you to hear about them too. That said, I'm more than happy for Lacey. And despite being on a few channels that, yeah, have talked some shit about her in the past, I have no issue with the wall. I am completely neutral towards you, her, everybody else. But I want us to have conversations so if you get a chance please feel free to check out it's butter nutty have a conversation with him if not please feel free to contact me on twitter my dms are open i'm more than willing to have a conversation with you thank you very much have a wonderful day i got raccoon shit to do bye